Welcome back guys, Brandon here with SlingMods.com and today we have the Show Chrome Padded Driver Backrest for the Canon Spider RT. Now if you're watching this, the chances are you're looking for additional back support while riding your Spider RT. Well, look no further, our popular backrest for the RT is now available in two different sizes depending on your preference. The standard pad measures in at 8.5 inches wide by 6 inches tall while the larger pad measured at 12 inches wide by 7 inches tall. Now it even includes a storage pouch on the back so you can store little trinkets such as your cell phone, chapstick, chewing gum, or really anything else that's small enough to fit. So now follow me as I walk you through the installation process. Start by lifting your seat and using a screwdriver to pull this clip out just enough to detach your shock. Then you'll want to take a rag and stuff it down into the black hole behind your seat. Gravity seems to be a bit stronger back here, so this will help prevent the hardware from falling into the abyss and getting lost forever. Now using a 10mm socket, remove these two bolts and make sure you keep pressure on the square nuts so that they don't fall into the black hole. Then you can disconnect the plug from under the seat and then slowly and carefully lift the seat up and out but be careful not to drop these two spacers. Next, you can place your seat upside down on a clean, dry table or a workbench, and using the bottom mounting bracket as a template, mark the location of these two holes. Using a 516 drill bit, carefully drill through the black plastic seat base, making sure not to push too hard and end up going through the other end of your seat. Now, if you have a 2014 or newer like us, you'll need to remove this top plastic piece and mark a 3 8 inch notch here. Cut it out like so. Then cut the rubber and foam to make room for the bracket to slide through. So if your notch didn't turn out as clean or as even as you had hoped, there is an optional protective cover that can be placed around your cutout here. First take an alcohol prep pad and clean the area around the hole. Let it dry for a minute and then remove the film from the back of the protective cover and apply it to the seat. Now it's time to assemble the backrest bracket. Start by attaching the adjustment plate to the removable mount using a washer and lock washer for each bolt. Then attach that to the riser using a lock washer on each bolt and install the jan nuts on the ends to prevent the bolts from turning. Now you can take that assembly and push the bottom of the riser into the hole that you cut earlier and push it all the way down and align the assembly's holes with the holes you drilled earlier. Place your bottom bracket back on and tighten it down using the two bolts and lock washers. Next you'll need to attach the backrest mounting bracket to the back of your backrest pad. Now this may get kind of tricky, so first push the bolt through the vinyl, move it around a little bit till you feel it slide into the threads inside the seat, and then start screwing it in. Then you can install the adjustable bracket to the backrest mounting bracket with the writing facing up, followed by attaching the adjustable tongue to that bracket using two bolts and lock washers. And then finally, you can attach the backrest assembly to your seat bracket. And top it off with your notched out plastic insert. Now you can put back your spacers 
followed by the two bolts with square nuts. Reattach your shock and plug in your connector under the seat. All right guys, it's really as simple as that. Now if this product seems like something you'd be interested in, head on over to thingmods.com today and grab one for yourself. And don't forget to like and subscribe below to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest mods for the Canon Spider. I'm Brandon signing out. We'll see you on the road.